everybody, welcome to Rosie's Tips. Today I'm gonna make, ooh, I'm doing the happy dance because I'm gonna make chocolate, banana chocolate ice cream. And this is what I've been eating lately as kind of like my sweet because sometimes I do get tired of doing just um, fruits, mono meals of fruits, like in the evening. Um, when after like dinner or something, even though I eat my fruit before my salads or my dinner, sometimes late in the evening, if I have an early dinner, I crave something sweet. And the rule of thumb is usually to try not to eat when the sun comes down. So as soon as the sun goes down, try not to eat. And I try to eat something before the sun goes down if, you know, I feel hungry or I feel like I'm not that full. And I want to kind of like, you know, not, I want to sleep without feeling hungry because I don't like the hungry feel, feeling. I love to keep full most of the day and stay full. So this recipe is awesome. I love it because, and I am going to tell you exactly what's in this recipe before I do it so my um, ice cream doesn't melt when I eat it. So basically I'm using, it takes only about four ingredients and it's a healthy ice cream, not, it has none of that hydrogenated fats in it or it has no dairy, it has none of the bad fats, it just has healthy fats for your brain and your body. So I'm using two bananas about one tablespoon of walnuts and that's optional you guys could use um, almonds if you prefer almonds and one date that I soaked in water with a little bit of date syrup there and about one house teaspoon the small little spoons that you guys have of cacao powder and cacao powder comes it's raw cacao powder so it's basically the chocolate uh, seed that is raw and they um, make it in powder and I also have cacao nibs. I have it, I like the cacao nibs and I put them in some of my recipes but the powder is the one I like for that smooth ice cream taste. If I want the chunky um, like chocolate taste I'll use the nibs, the cacao nibs. But um, basically this is natural uh, cacao and it's raw form unsweetened so it's it has its chocolate taste with no sugar so what's going to sweeten this in my ice cream is going to be the date and the banana and you taste the banana but it's not like a very overpower uh, overpowering taste so it's basically uh, it tastes like say you're having a banana split and you have chocolate ice cream on it. Something like that. It tastes really good actually. Trust me, it's delicious. And I've been having it lately every day. And you could also make this with frozen strawberries instead of the cacao. So you could add the bananas, frozen strawberries. I've had strawberry ice cream. I make that. I also make pineapple ice cream. Uh, blueberry ice cream, raspberry ice cream. I make a lot, but sometimes I miss that chocolate uh, taste that I used to eat in chocolate sweets. So I like the cacao chocolate ice cream probably the most. That's my favorite. And the strawberry too. But so it's four ingredients, and I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, what I use, and it's totally free, and it's an amazing um, thing that you guys could use online. It's called a chronometer. And what the chronometer does, it basically allows you, and it's so easy to use. I mean, if I could use it, anyone could use it. It basically allows you guys to put in, allows all of us to put in um, all the foods you eat and your activity throughout the day. And what it does, it calculates all your vitamins, minerals, carbs, proteins, and then it gives you the percentage that, your percentage of the day that you need to, to uh, be healthy and functional. 
So it gives you your total all percentage of the day if you got enough exercise, movement, um, uh, calories, and, and good fats, and proteins, and vitamins, and minerals out of the food that you ate all day. It also tells you if you got too much of cholesterol, anything. It, I mean, it calculates everything for you and takes this, the guesswork out of you. So what I did, I put this in the chronometer just to show you guys and to give you an example of what the reading, what it did for me. So before I even put in what I ate for breakfast, I put in just this alone so I could just get this information and then later I go back and I put in my uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and then at the end of the day it will tell me like yesterday everything I ate and I ate a lot. I was just very surprised because I was so full and I couldn't even eat anymore. I even had this um, at night in the evening and it told me I met 83% of my total calorie intake of the day. So I wasn't at 100%. So, of course, you wake up losing weight. So, right now, I'm str not struggling, but I'm working every day. I eat and try to um, eat enough to maintain my weight above 105. If I drop below 105, I know that I'm not eating enough. And chronometer will let me know. So, the <laughs> it's funny. I used to have the opposite problem. I used to... <laughs> have to worry about gaining weight and I have to worry about not losing too much weight. So um, basically what this has, the two frozen bananas, the tablespoon of walnuts, the date, and the cacao powder has 4 grams, 4.6 grams of uh, protein, 63.0 grams, grams of uh, carbs, but good carbs, energy carbs, carbs that your body's going to burn that recognizes, not carbs that are going to sit there and make you sluggish and fat and, and give you cholesterol. And fat, 48 grams of good fat, brain fat, fat that we need for our brain, fat that we need for our cholesterol, our good cholesterol, the healthy fat that we need for our heart. So it has the 48.0 um, grams of good fat, 8.8 .8 fiber, which is awesome. It has 70% of your vitamin C for the day, 28% of your vitamin C for the day also, which I eat about 10 bananas a day. I already had like, for breakfast, I think I had three, four, five. So I had half of my banana intake for the day, and throughout the day I eat more because I do like to keep my protein because remember, there's protein in fruits and dark greens. Dark greens have iron and protein as well. So when people ask you, where do you get your protein? If people ask me, where do I get my protein? Chronometer tells me that I got my 100% protein of the day. Each day, it will tell me. And, it'll, and if I didn't eat enough greens or enough fruit that has protein, it will tell me if it's like 80%, 70% of the day that I'm supposed to have protein. It will let me know. So please do try it. It's an amazing um, website and it's also free. So can't, can't be better than that. Uh, okay, omega-3, 47% of my days for my omega. So I'm already at half of my omegas for my good omegas for my brain and my heart. Uh, minerals, magnesium, 32% of the day. 9% of my iron I already met. Uh, potassium, 21%. Uh, zinc, 11%, copper, 54 and all these minerals. I mean, it's a list of minerals that I can't name some of them. I can't even pronounce them. But the minerals, the healthy minerals that your body needs, is already, you're already eating them in ice cream. Yeah! So, opposed to, like, ice creams that you would eat, uh, like, Coastal. The coffee lovers that used to be my favorite oh my god if the weekend came i used to call sundays my fat sundays because that's when i go get my ice cream or eat whatever i want but then what i noticed it would bring me back up to all that hard work i did during the week so eating your fruits and vegetables in a raw form is so amazing you can eat as much as you want and you don't have to worry about that and I'm not stressing that um, weight gain or, 
you know, losing weight is so important. No, what's important more than that is your overall health, staying healthy, and I do promote that. So um, I'm try. That's why I make the videos to try to bring these recipes where you could eat a lot of the stuff that you enjoy and you still could maintain your health. So that's what's more important than anything else. So. I chop up my frozen bananas, which you don't have to. I usually don't. I haven't done it on the Nutribullet, by the way. I usually do this on my um, Vitamix blender, but I'm going to try the Nutribullet only because I know a lot of people don't have the Vitamix, so I like to do a lot of things on the Nutribullet as well because it works just as good. So let's hope it does work here. I haven't done it on this one, but I'm assuming it should. So my frozen bananas go in, two frozen bananas. I gotta save the walnuts for the end because I don't want them like, I want that little crunch in there. My date that I soaked in water, I have a bunch of dates that I do soak in water in the refrigerator and my cacao powder. And, ooh, okay, and I'm also gonna put a little bit of cold water. Just a bit, because if you put too much, just to make the machine work, I might need more. But you don't want to put too much, because I don't want to make a um, smoothie. I want to make ice cream. And you do have to eat this right away, because it melts quick. Alright, here we go. Machine is working a little bit too much, so which tells me that I do need to put water, more cold water. Oh, you can see that creamy ice cream already there. Get some spring water in there. If I need more, I'll put more, but hopefully oh, that'll do it. Uh, the little rubber thing came out. I'll just pop that back in. It's no big deal. Usually it comes up when I wash it. I probably didn't pop it in there very well. Okay. I love the Nutribullet. It is an amazing thing. Like I said, I had this. I mentioned this in another video. I had the Nutribullet way long before I was able to get my vitamin. <laughs> ice cream too much because you don't want it very um, liquidy you want that ice cream uh, creamy ice cream so I'm gonna put the walnuts now because I only kind of want to crumble them I don't want to um, mush them and blend them so that should do it I don't think Oh, this looks so yummy. And it worked on the Vitamix. Yay! Oh, amazing. I got chocolate ice cream. So it, it depends. If you guys want more of the uh, chocolatey, you can put more cacao powder. Oh, yes. Nice and creamy. It's pouring in there nice and creamy. And you can put less of the water. If you want it a little bit harder, so let's try it, which I'm sure it's delicious because I have this all the time. And you could also sprinkle walnuts, uh, fruits, and stuff on the top, and it tastes really good. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Guys, this is so delicious. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. delicious I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you do make chocolate ice cream strawberry or pineapple whatever you guys prefer and um, give me a like thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll try to keep bringing some more tips on eating healthy and staying raw so remember try to eat more fruits and vegetables even if you don't eat totally raw, 
incorporate more fruits and vegetables in your diet. You guys have a great day.